Peptide mapping is an established technique for assessing changes to the primary structure of a protein. This has applications in areas of quality control or fundamental research in which changes to the protein sequence or to the chemical modification of amino acids is to be monitored. Peptide maps are generated by cleaving or digesting the protein with proteolytic enzymes to generate a finite number of peptide fragments. The digested sample containing peptide fragments is then resolved using electrophoresis or chromatography. Shown here, HPLC is the predominant tool to characterize the peptide map. HPLC columns used for this purpose must give high efficiency to resolve the potentially thousands of peptides. High efficiency also gives higher signal-to-noise ratio, which permits detection of peptides in low abundance. The Senes Express fused core columns are ideal for this purpose, and a new phase, the Senes Express peptide ESC18, has been developed specifically for peptide separations. Peptide maps are used mainly for two purposes, to identify a protein, or to identify changes to a protein. Both approaches compare the peptide map to a library or a control map. The more data, the more confident the analyst can be in making the identification. So the goal of a peptide map is to see as many peaks as possible in the sample. The chromatographic parameter that defines the number of peaks that can be seen per unit time is called peak capacity. It provides a theoretical maximum number of peaks that can be chromatographically resolved over the gradient runtime. The equation here shows that peak capacity is calculated by dividing the gradient time by the average peak width. So you can increase P sub C in two ways. Increase gradient time, but this increases the analysis time, which is not desirable, or decrease the peak width. Since efficiency is inversely proportional to the peak width squared, a more efficient column will have lower average peak width and will therefore exhibit higher peak capacity. As we mentioned, the more efficient column will have lower average peak width and will therefore exhibit higher peak capacity. Here is a visual demonstration. This figure compares the chromatograms of a complex triptych digest on a typical wide pore C18 column versus the Ascentis Express peptide ESC18. Many more resolved peaks are visible on the Ascentis Express column. While visual inspection suggests a greater number of resolved peaks on the Ascentis Express column, a more convincing quantitative evaluation comes from a sampling of peaks across the chromatogram, as shown in the table. The Senes Express peptide ESC18 is able to resolve statistically a greater number of peaks. Over approximately the same gradient time, an Ascentis Express column based on the fused core particle design provides much narrow peaks and 1.4 times the peak capacity than the conventional 5 micron wide pore C18 particle. The HPLC column is important in peptide mapping, but so is the mobile phase, notably the ion pair additive and the pH. Regarding the ion pair additive, TFA, a strong acid at low levels, maximizes retention of polypeptides on silica-based columns by keeping the pH well below that of the peptidal carboxyls. It also ion pairs with basic moieties to optimize peak shape. Thus, TFA-containing mobile phases are the default method for peptide mapping with UV detection. However, with mass spec detection, TFA is a problem. TFA at levels typical for UV-based peptide mapping, 0.1%, causes severe reduction in MS sensitivity. So acetic acid and formic acid have been used as alternatives to TFA for LCMS of peptides. But formic acid has become more common. However, users have noticed that peak efficiency and peak shape in the presence of 0.1% formic acid are not as good as with 0.1% TFA. This is particularly evident with basic peptides, as shown in this figure. Also note the enhanced retention of peptides in the presence of TFA, presumably due to the greater hydrophobicity of TFA relative to formic acid. This figure shows both peak shape and retention benefits of TFA. However, one can overcome the deficiencies of formic acid by leveraging the mobile phase pH, as this slide shows. If we adjust the pH of the mobile phase, from 2.6 to 3.5, a dramatic improvement in peak shape can be seen. The improved peak shape at 3.5 is best explained as a result of the increase in formate ion concentration. Ascentis Express fused core columns are well known for providing very rapid, highly efficient separations on any HPLC or UHPLC system. The examples shown here for peptide mapping demonstrated the benefit of high efficiency to generate high peak capacity. This gives more information from the HPLC experiment. Ascentis Express peptide ESC18 has high peak capacity, but also wider pores and a more stable bonding chemistry for low P 
pH peptide separations. As important as the columns are, it is also important to consider the mobile phase and choose ion pair additives and pH to maximize detector sensitivity and peak shape.